Guys, just landed here in Tenerife. Can't wait for the week to begin. We were on our way from Madrid to Tenerife by flight. We had a very terrible experience with Ryanair. So the thing is, if you don't check in online before boarding your flight and you don't have your boarding pass on your boarding pass on your phone, they charge you an extra 55 euros. Like how stupid is that? I this up on Instagram and I got a lot of messages saying that they usually do that when you don't check in but usual airline norms are never like this so a person who's never traveled by Ryanair would never know about this I hope that all of you watching this be very careful with your bookings with Ryanair and are very careful read all the terms and conditions we are here for a week almost a week we are thinking of renting a car because transport is really expensive and we have two more people joining us uh, at four o'clock in the afternoon today uh, that's victoria and andrea they're actually siddharth's friends and i can't wait to meet you guys hi everyone so we're here in tenerife at halfway cafe it's a first breakfast here by the beach it's beautiful right it's amazing and we drove here yeah so uh the car I'm, I'm gonna show you what car we rented out uh, but before that you have to have a look at our breakfast so we are here at the hotel it's called Virgilia Park and this is what the room looks like. Room apartment. <laughs> Stop it there. This is the kitchen. Um, this is the living room and the view is incredible. Wow. is the other room so it's a first day in uh, Tenerife and say hi to Victoria and Andrea and we're trying the sangrias here looks really good it is us at a beach very cloudy and it's damn cold we're a little bummed out about that Making Andrea into a mermaid. <laughs> what? I can control. Go for it. Some water. Woo! For the tail. We have a mermaid here. <laughs> doesn't look like a tail in the camera but in real it does look like a tail <laughs> who breaks the chip packet like this yeah it's like a bowl then It's day three here, right? Uh, it's 2.20 and we come here to have breakfast. <laughs> we woke up like one o'clock. So. We woke up at one. Uh, it's been like a very crazy night. Last night, uh, it was fun, but it was damn crazy. We haven't actually gotten out 
and you know explore any of the places we plan on doing them like at least today uh, it's actually supposed to be a very chilled out vacation uh, not like the other ones lisbon was you know we discovered and explored a lot of places and we planned things out but here you know because we are here with uh, siddhar's friends also we are like keeping it very slow and we are actually having a vacation very chilled out scene another cafe here. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it's a video. Alor and Mom. is going to perform some tricks. So No. Wow. <laughs> Hi, so we are at Las Americas and we are at this really cool store called Mundo's and it has handcrafted jewelry, really good products in general. If you're here in Tenerife, then you should definitely come to the store. Also, this area has like a lot of cool restaurants, really cool pubs. This uh, one we picked, this one's for me and this one's for Siddharth. Well, you can't really see the beauty of the pendant and it's pure silver so I can wear it like all the time so we are back to the place uh, where we were on the first day uh, that's halfway cafe on top uh, we're just looking for some nice restaurants to eat at it's nice and chilly here hello hello, <laughs> hello how are you <laughs> looked around for a few restaurants and uh, there are a lot of Indian restaurants here and they feel really happy when they see Indians because there are hardly any Indian food uh, visit Tenerife. If you love Indian food and you cannot live without Indian food, there's always a lot of Indian food here. Uh, the menu looks delicious. So, <laughs> so yeah, we are, we've ordered some pizza. Pizza and, and some drinks. <laughs> Wow. I'm probably gonna put this into like a silver chain, but for now I really wanna wear it. Wow, this is so good. So oh, good. If you're in Las Americas in Tenerife, have to come to this place. Really good food. We are on our way to Mount Tiede. <laughs> We're above the clouds. We had to struggle quite a lot to get the pronunciation right. Wow, look at this. Wow. Beautiful. So we pulled over because this was a really beautiful location. The clouds <gasps> are at Mount Tiede. If that's how it's pronounced, I still didn't get it right. Where the lava hit up. Look at right. Look at that. Look at the sky. There's no clouds above us. It's so good. There's a cable car service right there. So you pay around 23 euros and you can reach the top right now we are low on fuel, fuel. it's so beautiful videos photos of this place does not do justice very honestly i didn't really want to come up here because it was an hour away and we had to drive through the guards but it's really so beautiful it's very different than what you usually see barren uh, mountains and uh, everything is barren otherwise you always see trees This is the 12th of June And Larissa is not wearing a seatbelt, please wear a seatbelt You just started the car So we are heading to a water park, yay! But something really funny happened in the morning uh, Our friends left for another water park and we are going to another water park We thought, no we don't need it We thought we were going to the same one It's a very sad story And I was not sure which one was the biggest one 
I booked for the other one. Uh, so we were supposed to go to CM Park, and we ended up going to uh, ended up booking tickets for Aqualand. I believe it's going to be nice. It's going to be fun. It's the company that matters, right? Great pasta. What's up, guys? We are getting our clothes ready. And this is the first ride here at Aqualand at Costa Ebehe, and I'm excited. Ah! First water park abroad. We've been, I've been to like Estelwar, Imagica, Water Kingdom. Let's see what this one has. like two or three rides and now we're on to this one there was this time when i did a ride like this and i almost burnt my butt so i don't want to do it anymore and uh, it's not worth the risk you know i mean you don't have a mat on you you don't have the tube and you can like flip and like fall on the side that's what i think so i'm not going to do it it's pretty scary you know it's like a 80 degree ride Twist a tornado race all together. I won the one. race. Yeah. <laughs> push, push. I push. What? This is the speed. <laughs> so today is our last day here in Tenerife, and we are going kayaking. And later in the day, we visit Jungle Park to meet the animals. Ah! Excited for Jungle Park? I am excited. I'm even more excited about going to Madrid. Later tonight. Headed to Jungle Park. We are in Madrid! Now heading to our hotel, actually our Airbnb and I'm really excited because this is the first time I've ever booked an Airbnb and it's an amazing and very beautiful room so it's like a 5 minutes walk from the Opera station Okay, so we are here at Plaza Mayor. Similar clothes. Similar, similar, very similar. Look at this. Past Plaza Mayor and we are here at Mercado de San Miguel. I haven't gotten the pronunciations right. So please, please bear with me on that. 
So tapas are basically small Snacks bites. To munch on when you drink. So there's wine, there's food, there's some fruit shopping. So guys, that's the palace right there. We're just walking back from our grocery shopping and it's right here. So that's the best part about our apartment. Everything is like really close by and also walking distance. I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. I'm cooking and um, what we have on the menu, we have tortellini in like very nice cheese sauce and whipped cream and strawberries for dinner. So it's all cheat days. It's yeah, been, been cheat, cheat days, days for the past 15 days. 15 days cheat days. Haven't worked out at all. Tortellini, inner cheese and bacon sauce. We have some guacamole. Hello guys, we are right now at the APA Art Gallery. So we're back at Plaza de Mayor. So we are at the famous Plaza Mayor and we're here to eat the calamari with bread. So I'm gonna have the clam. Very smooth, yeah? How do you feel? Guys, so right now I'm at the Royal Palace. This was built in the mid 1700s and is one of the biggest palaces in Western Europe. To get a proper experience, you have to get inside the palace. It goes to around 25 euros. Uh, we aren't going to the palace like inside the palace. But if you're into Baroque and neoclassical styles, you should definitely get inside and have a look. It's a last day here in Madrid and we have a flight today in the night. So we're here at El Rastro uh, for the flea market. It's a very famous one and it's open on all Sundays. So we're finally at the airport. And we are heading back home so this was a final destination for our Europe trip and it was great it was amazing but it ended with a very annoying taxi driver what are your learnings for Madrid I think Madrid is a very beautiful city there's a lot of culture there's a lot of great food wine but um, but there are certain things you would want to keep in mind when you are traveling to Madrid so uh, I think you should always be careful of your belongings and uh, take care of them. There are high chances that you can get robbed even on like busy streets. Especially yeah. if you have a lot of cameras, you have a lot of money, be very alert all the time. Number two is um, Ubers are very um, expensive. expensive. So make sure you, uh, you walk it or you take the walk metro. It or take the metro. What we did is we got like a 10, 10 trip travel card from uh, in Madrid because we, we, we did most of it by walking. However, we knew that we needed, you know, like the metro to go around certain places. So we did the 10 trip one and that is unlimited. You can use it whenever. So we use it over a whole month. Or there are also and electric cycles, uh, which you can um, yeah, rent, rent for, out. I think, four or five euros. Four day. Not per day, like for three to five days. So that's yeah. great. So if you want to cycle, that's a very good option. And yeah. these are electric, so you don't have to actually pedal. Sure. Um, if, if you're a shopping person, make sure you check out the flea market on Sunday. It happens every Sunday. Uh, if you're in Madrid, make sure you allot an entire day for Primark because it's huge and you wouldn't do justice if you would only go for two hours like we did in, a, in an apartment. You might as well cook your food than 
um, you can obviously eat at places if you want to experience the culture and the kind of food but if you can cook you should definitely go and cook uh, because buying your groceries and cooking is it's very simple you get everything you get like everything and yeah and yeah. it's it's much cheaper so you save a lot on food the food is damn expensive here yeah but it is a place where you can really chill out there's a lot of art for all the artists out there there's a lot of art museums and a lot of art galleries which you should check out a lot of contemporary art galleries the so it's a big fashion and art hub so make sure you check out museums which uh, showcase uh, fashion and art and yeah. I'm in love with you.